Make sure to join my new Discord server to talk with me, fans and friends. My server holds giveaways weekly as well as game nights where you can have the opportunity to play Roblox with me and be featured in some of my upcoming videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a glow effect in your Roblox GFX. I'm going to start by opening my rig in Blender and then adding my textures. This is not a full walkthrough tutorial for the setting up part, so if you don't know how to do this, please watch my beginner tutorial because I'm just going to be skimming over the basics. Then I'm just importing the rest of my body, so deleting everything but the head and dragging that onto the rig. Then I'm going to start setting up my scene. So for this glowy GFX, I want to have her holding a sparkler and some fireworks coming out. It's very New Year's Eve, so it's going to look really cute. And here's me just moving around my body using the rig. Just kind of finding a position that I like for this GFX. I also added a camera so I can see where she's at and I also added in my fireworks. The fireworks are what I want to have the glow effect on them so pick whatever object you want for the glow and select it. So I've got my fireworks selected then we're going to go over to this icon it's like a little gradient circle go down to add shader and click emission. This is going to give it a glow effect. If you go into rendered mode, you can see that it's quite glowy and you can also change the strength down in the corner, which is going to change how bright it's going to be. I'm going to change the color as well. So I want mine to be kind of like an orangey tint, which looks like this when it's rendered. I'm moving my character around a little bit more just because I want it to look perfect. Check what it looks like when it's rendered again. You also want to make sure you don't have ambient occlusion ticked on the side or have any other light sources, otherwise the light is not going to stand out. Next we're going to go over to the camera icon, check that everything's ticked. I want mine to be a transparent GFX so I ticked transparent and then I'm just going to render it. Go to image, save as image and then name it and save it somewhere on your computer. Here's how my GFX turned out after doing some editing. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and Happy New Year to you all.